Sirkal. Ojode was named was nicknamed Sirkal. He earned the nickname from the way he pronounced Serikali, the Kiswahili word for government. But the nickname was more was, was significant in other ways too. Ojode was a fearless defender of government, especially the police force, which fell in his internal security docket. But he would not run away from the ills of the force. The late Orwa was a self-made patriotic and distinguished statesman, reflecting on his life and on the world of God, I couldn't help picking out similarities between him and the biblical Joshua, who led the people of God in conquering Israel and in serving God in the land. Both compare favorably with respect to issue articulation, firmness, and resoluteness. He stood tall, and that's why I called him, in fact, we used to refer to each other as Jaduong. I don't know why he thought I was a Jaduong, but looking at his eyes, clearly qualified as a Jaduong. And a very good man, Mishmua Orwa Jode, simply a good man. Uh, and I can also confirm that he actually went beyond party affiliation when it came to matters to do with the good of this nation. Ojode was like the seam that bound the two sides of the coalition government. He was very dedicated to duty. He never played partisan politics with the work that he was given to do. He was very passionate in whatever he was doing. Very committed. We want to say we are available to do any job, to do any help that they can think of us to do because Ojode was a friend, a friend individually, not just a political friend, a, person, a friend personal to us. Ladies and gentlemen, let us, as friends, keep close to the family. We want to be close. We want you to feel free to call upon us to do what you feel needs to be done.